All right, Shalom. Uh, I got my good man over here, Rock upon him. And, and this debate is five years in the making. We're going to have a, uh, a 101 debate here. So, of course, I want to start off giving a handshake and a pat on the back to my friend here. And we're going to get into it first and start with the topic of hell. In the Bible, what does hell mean? Um, destruction and people who does not um, repent of their sins. You know? Okay, is there a place right now where, say, for example, if somebody goes to murder and they naked? No, there's no place in hell now. Okay, okay. I strongly believe uh, there's What's no the lake of fire? Lake of fire is hell. Okay, uh, Revelation 20 and 14, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. Huh? Uh, Revelation 20 and 14, listen closely, and death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. So if the lake of fire is hell, how can hell be thrown into the lake of fire if the lake of fire is hell? You see, there's a lot of people who um, talk about that, you know, like, right. a lot of people, like, a lot of YouTubers, like, they believe, like, hell is now. But I strongly believe when God comes, when people who doesn't repent will be held in that, that, that moment, not, like, when you're dead. And then you know how a lot of people has that, like, theory, like, oh, right. you die, you have afterlife, you go to heaven or hell. Right. If you do bad stuff. Okay. Um, I'll let you ask me a question now. All right. What, what's your topic about? What do you think about the mark of the beast? The mark of the beast. Well, according to the scriptures, it says, and no man might be able to buy or sell save he that had the mark. So the mark of the beast is the implantable microchip. Now I already know you believe it's the Sunday law, right? Oh yeah, and the microchip. Okay. okay. The let me ask you this: If it's if the Sunday law has anything to do with it, how does Sunday have to do with buying and selling? worship and plus the chip has a part in it because remember we're not going to be able to buy and sell the bible says in revelation chapter 13 verse 11 about worship and the chip too so if you look in if you um you know just read the scriptures it, some of the scriptures says it has to do with worship and with the microchip and i believe that if you get the microchip now you know because there's a lot of people now they're planning like microchip now and a lot of them, man. It's mm -hmm. crazy, man. Right. Like, we see the world now, you know, everyone. What is the image of the beast? The image of the beast. The beast. Now, I believe the image of the beast is Levitic and strong movement. How about you? The image of the beast is, as, as we call it, the man fool system. You see, this country is the revived Roman Empire. Yeah. Okay, right. It says the beast that was and was not, even he is the eighth and of the seventh. The seventh is Great Britain. The eighth is America, right? Because America is just Rome back in reincarnation in this time. So the image of the first beast was the political system. In the, in the Roman Empire, you had something called the Flavians and Patricians. Today, you have the Democrats and the Republicans. So you see, they took that same image from Rome, and they built that now in this modern America. Yeah. So that's what we teach that, that it is. So when guys say at Rome is Babylon, and are correct, however, they are incorrect, because Rome is now America, not the ancient Roman Empire. Yeah. You see, I believe America is... Um, corrupted system like right. you know the Numenanis and you got people who are now corrupted by the coronavirus. Hey Mark, now. how much time we got on there man? Uh it's at three minutes, you got about twenty seven. Okay, we're all good. Uh so let's see. Yeah, I wanna touch on multiple different topics. This is the only time we got to do it. Yeah. So let's say this. If a, a righteous man and a wicked man die the same day, where do they both go? Nowhere. They're just dead. They don't go nowhere. Nowhere. No. The, the soul I, I don't go nowhere. No. I try to believe they don't go nowhere because a lot of so, people okay. believe that. Okay, so are they are the souls like wandering the earth or do they go to a place like purgatory? Nowhere. They don't go to purgatory. I strongly believe they don't. Okay. Uh, well, Job the third chapter says that there is a place where the soul goes. It says, there the wicked, they cease from troubling, troubling, and there the weary, they are at rest. Uh -huh. It says, the good and the wicked, they rest together in this place. So Job you believe the they rest in this place? Uh, wherever this place is, it, the scripture says the spirit of man goes up to the most high after they die. The so you believe, good man and, uh, uh, wicked man. So you believe they go to heaven or hell? No, we don't believe in hell. You don't believe in hell? Uh, you just believe in heaven. Uh, well, heaven, heaven is going to be built here on the earth. What, what, what is your stance? I, I believe heaven is going to be built here on earth. God is going to recreate the earth again. Just destroy everyone who okay. doesn't believe in him. Um, Isaiah the 13th chapter. After Babylon destroyed, it says there shall remain a desolation from generation to generation. So if the earth is going to be built again, how, how is that going to happen? Well, the reason why this earth is going to be built again is because this earth is already destroyed already by sure. mankind. You know, everyone is just disobeying the laws of God and okay. everything. Okay. Um, what's Babylon the Great? Babylon the Great? The Vatican. I strongly believe it's Babylon. Okay, what evidence can you give me to support Babylon as the Vatican? You see, back in the um, ancient history, the, <clears throat> the Vatican killed a lot of people. Right. And the virus, the scriptures say that 
she's purple and scarlet color now right. now you are aware that purple and scarlet represents royalty yeah okay good now my question to you is it speaks about the merchants of the year if they have gotten rich off the abundance of her delicacies now the Vatican imports about, eh, it's roughly about $30 million yearly. America's is $2.21 trillion. Yeah. There's no comparison. So hold on a second. How could Babylon so great be the Vatican? If the scriptures describe this merchant city where merchants of the earth are getting rich, but the Vatican doesn't sell any merchandise, the merchandise is sold in America. You see, the reason why I strongly believe is because they killed a lot of people who believe in God right. and believe in the Bible, you know? Okay. Now I'm going to... I, I'm going to cut you six ways to Sunday, the, the inside joke. Um, as I said, let me say this. I got more lines than the Ziggler's tooth tree. Inside joke. Um, and the, dur during the tribulation, are Christians going to receive salvation after the persecution of Christians? I believe that. No. How about you? So Christians are going to escape the great tribulation? No. Well, so, some, some of us will, yeah. But most of us will probably okay. be killed. So there's going to be two raptures? No. I believe there's only okay. one. So if there's going to be one rapture, how are some going to escape the tribulation, but then some are not? I believe there's only going to be one. I believe God is only going to come one time. Right. And every eyes will see him. Oh, yeah, I believe that. I believe yeah. Because I know a lot of people believe in the secret rapture. They're like, right. hey, you're going to go secret. Oh, oh, uh, look, what's that brother's name? The mind of God believes in the secret rapture. <laughs> hey, brother, look. He said by August, if we're still here, that he admits he was wrong. Hey, the time is ticking, my man. Right. <laughs> there was this one person who said it was going to be back in 2019, the secret rapture. I'm like, I'm still waiting. Hey, you know, what are the chariots of the Lord? Oh, my gosh. What you say, brother? What are the chariots of the most high? I don't know. The Plains UFOs, brother. man. Huh? The UFOs, man. So you believe in the UFOs, too? Yeah, yeah, the UFOs. I thought you believed that there are I believe in the UFO. I believe Hollywood's behind that, too. So you don't believe that they're actually real in real life? No. I believe I've some seen, of his face. I've, I've seen one before, man. You seen one? Yeah. I've seen I believe that face. they created it themselves. Yeah, that's fair enough. So I'm surprised you're not wearing a tinfoil hat. <laughs> hey, <you know> <laughs> <laughs> I believe when they created them themselves. Hey, hey, I would, I would. However, the scriptures say any man that prays or prophesies with his head covers, he dishonors his head. But you would have got me on that one. Um, how many minutes we got left? Oh, uh, you're at seven twenty-five. You got twenty-three uh, in total. Okay. We'll make the most of our time. Yep. Uh, so the devil, well, Esau to you is mm -hmm. someone that, um, let's see here, loving Christian said, <laughs> I remember that man, he was saying about uh, a lot of skin color, he was saying Esau was, um, one of this person, I remember watching his video, and I'm like, what, what, it doesn't make any sense, and I debunked the brother, and, he's, and he okay. hasn't debunked you either. Okay, are the Edomites still on earth today? Let's see here, oh yeah, I believe they are. Okay, so, let's put it this way, what? people are they today? Can you identify uh, certain people on earth who identify as Edomites? Let's see. A lot of people are. How can you tell? Let's see. How could you tell? Well, an Edomite is, and let me say this, not all white people are Edomites. You have yeah. the fusion of faith Israelites, which are Israelites who look like the other nations because they're the Israelite fathers. They slept with women of the other nations, right? So therefore, the children, after time, they come out looking like the other nations. Yeah. Right. So we both agree to that. So today you could have Israelites that look like white people. But originally, white people are the Edomites of the Bible. Yeah. By the, okay, so you agree with that? Yeah, I kind of agree okay, with okay, that. Okay, good. Hey, hey. We came to an agreement there. Hey, Ridge needs to step up next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, what are the locusts in Revelation 9, Jeff? So, um, a play. A play? I believe, I believe, I believe this coronavirus is a play. I, I'm not oh, arguing with that. I, I strongly believe that, brother, because um, there's a lot of people who are saying this is a play, too. And right. a lot of people are saying different stuff, but I believe it's strongly a play. So right. I wish you had your Bible out here. I'd be looking at that one thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, um, the locusts in Revelation 9 chapter, that already happened. That was talking about the First World War. Yeah. Yeah, when John saw those, he saw those, those fighter jets up there, and he described them the best way he could for being back then because they had limited vocabulary. Yeah. Right? I believe that okay. World War um, Three is going to start too, brother. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You know, okay. with China. Uh, let's put it this way. Is the kingdom of heaven going to be built on earth by, by, by people or is the most high just going to magically make it? I believe it's going to be by God. So, so kind of like how he built the earth and solar yeah, system. Right, okay. So in Isaiah the 60th chapter, it says the sons of strangers, they should build up thy walls. Yeah. And that hasn't happened yet. That's just referring to the to the, the, the kingdom of heaven. Now, okay, let me ask you this. In the kingdom of heaven, are other kingdoms going to be ruling on the earth? 
No. Okay, I, there's not. I mean, okay. Exactly. Um, what is that? Isaiah 60th chapter and Revelation the 21st chapter. They say that the kings of the earth shall bring their glory and honor unto the kingdom of the Most High. So hey, you got to cut six ways to Sunday there, man. <laughs> All right, you got me a little there. Hey, I hit you by quite a few. You hit shows. me. You hit me by a show. <laughs> yeah. I'll take that. Okay, okay. But I'm still standing. Hey, 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 <laughs> it's a little joke, you know. Hey, hey you gotta give that brother a pat on the back for that one. Too, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not like loving Christian, he always falls. I'm still waiting for that debate, brother. Hey, you know, loving, man. From loving Christian, because he hit me with few oh, shows, uh, but yeah, yeah, I hit him brother. back, brother. Yeah, uh, as I said, he have hit me with quite a few shells. Almost, almost gave me a spiritual KO, but I still, still, still don't. don't. <laughs> kind of like as I like to say, you may hit me with ten shells. I'm gonna hit you with ten times that, oh, or twenty man, more like of that. that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm still waiting, loving Christian. Um, we could debate. Man. Okay, I want to talk about the Sunday law again. So, how was Sunday? Right, I heard you say it's worship, but I look at that differently. I don't accept that teaching. How can I? How is believing in Sunday worship going to affect me buying and trading things? Okay. Do you believe? Okay. What do you? What day do you believe that Scottish day? Sunday uh, or Saturday? Both of those days are false. The so day, you, oh, hold on. The day of Sabbath goes by the cycle of, uh, of the moon. It tells you that. Do so you yeah. believe in Saturdays? Like no days? Because like you some know, people, some 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 Saturdays could be the Sabbath, but some Sundays could be the Sabbath. But yeah. Sabbath can fall on almost any day. Because some people believe that they go to church on Sundays, right. which is crazy, and they believe like you could do stuff on Saturday right. and stuff like that. Like mm -hmm. you know, how's I mean, that not, recording name, looking? Let me not name, name some people fault. out there, brother. Mm -hmm. I'll let you know when you're, you're getting close to the end. Okay. Yeah. You'll see. I wish it would have brought out a whole number of things to speak about yeah you know what i'm saying i mean we can always pause the recording and keep thinking and stuff yeah. right right there's uh, another topic the flat earth but i'm gonna need another brother with me i mean that that's not really like bible yeah, related though let me say this um some guys teach you that's important like you have to believe that right yeah to see something. So I, I believe I don't, you don't, I don't have believe to that. no no you can believe in round earth and flat earth and receive salvation i mean isn't there somewhere in the bible where it says man shall have his own opinion or something like that as scripture say every uh, for many people have deceived themselves by their own vain false opinions. That's another, oh, oh, that's another topic. What about the apocrypha? Do you believe in the apocrypha? Not really. You don't? Okay, why, why not? I don't believe in it. In it. How about you? Have you ever read it before? Yeah, I read it before. Of course I did. You read yeah. the whole book? Okay, so what what about it is inconsistent with the scriptures? You see, I don't really... Wait, wait, that's a little question. Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> I remember, Bruh. The ski inches. The ski inches. Right, right. Or like this damn devil demon. I remember um the brother said that um a lot of stuff about that. Right, right. Oh that brother no let me not get into the loving Christian. That brother is crazy. <laughs> I remember one time he called this brother a pedophile for no hey, reason. Hey, hey man, as we said, they don't even know the definition of words. So how can you argue with somebody if you don't even know what the word means? But anyway, anyway, I want to talk about the apocrypha. You said you read it, right? Yeah. You say it's not inspired. What are maybe two reasons why it's not inspired? I believe that it's not. For, I believe it was not made. Okay, but let me let me let me hit you by quite a few shells here. Uh, what is it? Second. Ezra I mean, technically, the Bible is man-made if you think oh, about it. A uh, second Ezra the sixth chapter is the story of creation. Uh, Christ quoted the Apocrypha. I don't know the verse off the top of my head, but he he quoted something along the lines of, "I have gathered the Israelites as a hen gathers the chickens under her wings." And the same thing is said in the book of Matthew. However, the Apocrypha is written before the New Testament. So by default, you have to admit the Apocrypha is inspired, or whoever wrote the Bible had to have stole that from the Apocrypha. True. Um, hold on. Um, Matthew, you know Matthew 7 and 13, right? Yeah. You have a straight date? That was actually taken from the book of um, 2nd Ezra is the 7th chapter. Right? No, I believe some of the Apocrypha is true. Though. Okay, I some believe, of it's true. Yeah. Well, we subscribe to the whole thing is, is yeah. inspired. Well, I believe it's Is there any prophecy in the Apocrypha? Yeah. I believe it's all true, like some of it's true, not okay. like this other guy here. Okay, uh, let's see, what topic, oh salvation, who can receive salvation? The people who believe in Jesus. So any, any, any people can receive salvation? Anybody, anybody can who it, believes in Can it, you might receive salvation? Let's see here, they could, um, they repent. Where in the scriptures does it say that? Scriptures tell you in Obadiah that the house of Edom shall become a desolation. Uh -huh. So where, what part of the scripture says that? I believe that God loves everyone for John chapter 3 verse right okay 16. now I'm, I'm happy you quoted that my man all right everybody watching listen closely he quoted John 3 16 we all know that's top of our head however uh John 17 and 9 I pray for them who thou hast given me out of the world I pray not for the world and that was Christ speaking yeah uh, Isaiah 
45 and 17, it says, to make a long story short, it says that Israel shall become an everlasting world, a world without an end. So now we clearly see Christ did not pray for the whole world. He said it himself. Um, and then we see that Israel will become an everlasting world. Okay, so... So could that technically be where the kingdom will be built, maybe? Well, the kingdom of heaven is going to be built here on the earth. But it doesn't say where exactly. So yeah. technically that could be Israel. Fair enough. If you think about it. Right. Uh, let's deal with this. Is there going to be bondage in the kingdom of heaven? What do you think about that? What do you believe? I'll say, I'd say no, honestly. The answer, no too. the answer is uh, would have to be yes, because let me ask you this. Have you ever read Revelation the second chapter? Yes. Okay. I, I read the whole book. Uh, Revelation. Revelation. Have you read the whole Bible before? Oh, yes. Okay, good. Okay, good. So we're both on track there. Um, Revelation chapter 2 and 26. It says, To him who overcomes, he shall be in power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a lot of iron. What is that talking about? So you believe that it will be in the kingdom of heaven? I, yes. don't, I probably believe it's not. Well, how can it not be? That's the last book of the Bible. I, I just don't. I, I, okay, so you, you just don't believe that, but you can't provide proof to support that statement. Yeah, I I, I, I trust you. Okay, but but I can I can respect that. But if you're gonna say that, but then you can't tell me when that happened, that disqualifies your statement. Because he's got you in a corner there. <laughs> all, all yeah, he got me in a little corner, dude. Ready to spread be hit by quite a few shells here. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you better watch that. He might hit you with ten more, ten times that. <laughs> you might hit him with three or four, but he's gonna hit you with ten times yeah, that amount. Yeah, I've been hit by quite a few shells, but I'm still. Me too, so, man. I've been hit by shells by a loving Christian. Hey, hey man. I As he about... said, me and this brother, this is my bro right here, man. All right, but anyway, back to the serious discussion. Right? So you don't believe that it is going to take place in the kingdom of heaven, right? Yes. Okay. When did that happen before? You know? Alright, can you guys get a little closer? <laughs> kind of getting out of frame there. No, they're, you're getting out of frame. That's the... Okay. So How many minutes do we have left? You got quite a few. You're good. I'll let you know when you're getting low. So you don't know when it happened? No. Okay, so could that mean that it has not yet happened? No. I try to really put it not Okay, so for everybody watching, this brother, which I'm not bashing him, um, but he said that he doesn't know when it happened, but yeah, he says it's not going to happen in the kingdom. No. And that's something to think about, my man. <laughs> okay. Like I said, he's got you in a corner there. Uh, oh, ooh, even he sees that. Uh, Isaiah, the, oh, ooh, let's go with this. Did Satan rebel against the most? Yes. What part of the Bible says that? In Isaiah, that he rebelled oh, Isaiah, against the, and back in, what, the 14th um, chapter? Yeah. And back in, um, when that Adam and Eve. That doesn't, um, let me think of how I want to word it. <laughs> right. about the downfall of Babylon. So you believe it, well, back in, if you look at back in Adam and Eve, right. when the serpent was talking to um, Eve and Adam, he was talking about the devil, that he was going to um, slay the devil and crush his head. But God, um, the devil rebelled against God because he wasn't following his rules and he but, cast but, him off heaven. But, but again, uh, as I said, I've read the whole Bible. There's not one verse that says that the Most High and Satan had a... A battle. Now, you're no, gonna, I don't believe oh, in the battle. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> isn't, isn't there one? Isn't there one part that talks about him banishing him to hell? No, that, no. that's not in the scriptures. No, I could have sworn I heard that somewhere. That's not in the scriptures. <laughs> I don't believe that. I mean, there's a lot of people hey, good, who believe good, good. In, that they had a physical battle, but, which is false. Yeah, that's not that's not in the scriptures. <laughs> or the, the scriptures. The scriptures. The scriptures. The scriptures. The scriptures. Right, right. You don't know the skeeps. Hey, that brother, the the, the like that, that brother, he has less taste than an Ann Rice cake. Oh, I want to actually, to oh. be honest with you, brother, uh, I want to debate with Andrew Ashby. We still haven't had that debate. I want you to prove we're getting paid by Mario, um, Andrew Ashby. Oh, yeah. It, it, I... Absolutely. I mean, I just... I'm, wait, wait, has, has Andrew Ashby ever showed his face or like, yeah. talked? Yeah, he has once. Oh, and you know what the Bible says about lying, brother? Yeah, yeah. The scriptures talk about lying, and I, I, I'm so ready for the proof. I'm going to debate you about hell, too, bro. How many minutes left? Well, you're at 19, you get 23 in total. Well, almost 24. Okay, so how many minutes? So 19, 19 minutes? 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. Okay. So like five. Okay. So like five minutes okay. in total. Uh, let's see. Eddie, you want to pause the video real quick? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll just... Uh... Okay. So does the most high create you? I believe no. Okay, so where do people come from? I believe evil is from the devil himself, and I believe a lot of people choose to be evil. It's a choice to okay. be evil. Let me ask you, I want to name a couple of scriptures, and then I'm going to name them and ask you your interpretation. Isaiah 45 and 7, I the Lord, I have created light, and I have created darkness. I the Lord, I have created all these things. What does that talk about? I believe that he created light, but I believe the devil created darkness, meaning that 
he didn't create darkness really, but I think the devil created darkness. Because if you look at a lot of people, you know, they're demon possessed and that's from the devil. I believe that God has judgment, like coronavirus, and this is his wrath, you know, to right. okay. people who doesn't believe in God. And but, but the most high doesn't create evil? No. Okay, uh, Amos 3 and 6. If there is evil in the city, have the Lord not done it. Spiritual knockout. So now, now I'm going to try to, now, um, he doesn't create evil, he pours out his judgment to people who doesn't, you know, believe in Jesus, you know, it's not evil, it's more like his judgment, you know, he's, he's, his wrath against like, his, the people who doesn't believe in him, you know. Okay, okay, so, okay, 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 I, I got a question on that, I got a question on that. I have a friend, I'm not going to say his name, you know, don't hate there. Yeah, he's uh what you call I don't know what you call it. I can't remember the name on the top of my head. But he's like he doesn't believe in any like higher power or anything like that. Why hasn't he caught in any kind of the God's wrath? Well, the way we would explain that is you first live your life and then the judgment comes. Okay. Right. So we, so we, we so, so okay, 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 okay. So at what age does judgment happen? Around. Oh, we gotta deal with this. <laughs> what, what age does a child become an adult? Let's see here. Oh. No, no, I'm not. I'm not talking about. That. I'm not. I'm not talking about that. No, no, we're gonna. It's gonna lead into it. It's okay, 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 okay. Okay. I'm gonna give you the answer. The answer is 12 or 13 years old. Okay. Okay. So what? What do you? I believe, believe strongly a man. Mm -hmm. it, it's like okay. So like. This is this is the topic I don't get. Like people say, you become a man at eighteen. Right. You really like, don't. Okay, so at age seventeen you could work. Right. Sixteen, right. fifteen you could work, get a license. But when you're like damn eighteen years old, you can't drink beer. But when you're twenty one, right. you you could drink beer. That does oh, right, not make right. any sense. But I'm, I'm talking about the scriptures. Yeah. Well, in the scriptures, what age is a child? I I believe that. It doesn't really, like, the scripture doesn't really talk about what okay. age. Well, it does talk exactly. about it. Exactly. It does talk I about mean, it. So we'll just go with my answer on that. We'll go with my okay, answer. so, 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 13, that's technically when a man's yeah. stuff yeah, drops. A bar, a bar mitzvah as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah a bar mitzvah if you're Jewish. You. Yeah. I, yeah. Luigi, girls hit okay. at age 12 or 13. No, no, no. I'll, I'll tell you what it is. It's girls, for whatever reason, it's 11 to 12. Mm -hmm. For guys, it's 13 to 14. Yeah. Right, right. And that, that's in the Ezekiel, the uh, 16th yeah. chapter as well. And a lot of people will call you pedophile and just misunderstand this video and say this man is pedophile. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to uh, back him up I, a little bit. Right. Now, what I can say to that, why they call you a pedophile is because they don't understand the scriptures. They just go off of what the government tells them. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because the word pedophile, uh, they twist it up. Yeah. Exactly. Because anyway, technically a pedophile is someone who hey, goes out and does things. Let's end yeah. the video with that. Okay. Alright, anyway, that so. being said, I'm going to say Shalom. Anything else to say, Rock? God bless you, brother. And this is Rock upon him. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, shalom.